So we loaded stuff into my car and we're driving back from the storage place to his apartment. And he said, oh, I don't have my keys. I must have left them in the padlock on the side of the door at the storage unit. He smiled and he said, great moments in mindfulness. <laughs> <laughs> now, he was being self-deprecating. I personally didn't see that there was much of a conflict. Of course, you could be mindful and still forget your keys. But he explained he said, there's more than one object of mindfulness. Now, as always with Bill, once he drops one of these pearls of wisdom, it's worth just clamming up and letting it sink in. There's more than one object of mindfulness. So I don't think it was my pattern to ask Bill to unpack these ideas. I understood them as like koans. Mm. I'm supposed to work with this. He had a way of delivering it that you knew this is the teaching. This is the pith instruction of the day. And you got to kind of figure it out. So when I think about it now, even immediately afterward, I pondered it. What does this mean? There's more than one object of mindfulness. Well, it means that you could be extraordinarily mindful of something and completely oblivious to something else. You might be the most mindful person in the world and forget your keys. Mm. 